Hi, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And I am continuing this eight part series of videos where I'm talking about the uh, eight secrets to a consistent revenue, but money making business, eight secrets to a consistent money making business. And they are this, and I've been doing videos on them now for a few weeks. And we are on number six. So today I want to talk to you about embracing the right technology to make your life and your business easier and more efficient and more profitable. So technology is one of those things uh, that uh, we get caught up with. There's a lot of techie tools out there. There's a lot of great software that can help you run your business or take credit cards or create funnels and landing pages and all this kind of stuff. And I've been a business coach for, it'll be, it's 19 years this year. So a long, long time before websites were even a thing. They were kind of like, yeah, I have a website, but here's my business card, right? <laughs> it was kind of like that. And uh, now it, websites are the hub of your business. It is the most important thing that you can have in regards to your marketing materials, your offerings, etc. Everything needs to flow in and through your website. I call it the hub of your business. And so if you're not spending a good amount of money on making your website the most dynamic, engaging, interactive uh, place it can be, then you're, you really want to look at that. You really want to spend some more time on your website and or get people to help you because, you know, you came in, you got your, started your own business, right? For a reason, it's, you probably aren't a web designer. Some of you might be, <laughs> and I've worked with web designers before, but unless you're a web designer or someone who's really tech savvy or marketing savvy, please don't try to do your own website. It's just not what how you want to put your best foot forward. It's like making a really bad first impression <laughs> and you don't want to do that. So your first impression is your website. So you've got to have a really good, impressive looking website, something with videos of yourself, uh, with engaging online forms where people can sign up for stuff so they can get more information. You have to think about making it easier for people. So you might be making it hard by not having your phone number or your address or, or a form on there to get in contact with you. Uh, you have to make it uh, easy to give enough information. Sometimes I just don't see enough information on people's websites for um, for a random prospect who lands there to get what they need or find out if you're the right fit to even take a next step, right? So you really have to look at your website. Then in addition to your website, there are some things you need. Most, almost everybody needs some kind of email marketing database place, right? Where you can send emails from, where people can opt in for free stuff and you, they can get on a list, on your email list. And then you need to be able to send kind of, they don't have to, it doesn't have to be a newsletter, but you need to send regular emails to your list of people. Uh, and then uh, how, how's that database? So some people call it a CRM, some people call it a shopping cart, some people call it, have both. Um, it depends how much you really want to track your customers and prospects. If you want to track a lot and make a lot of notes inside the computer, uh, inside their profile, for example, then you might want more of a CRM, okay? And so there's different softwares that have more capabilities for database management, all right? If you're just looking to do, get people on a list and send them emails and then sell them stuff and track their sales and all that, then that's more of like a shopping cart. Now, a lot of times the shopping carts can also be like a CRM. I've never used a, a CRM by itself, frankly. I've always used some kind of shopping cart or sometimes they don't call them shopping carts, but they're all in one solutions. Um, I don't use, I use a WordPress website so I can do almost any landing page or anything uh, that needs to be a web page in my website. I don't have to have landing page software or web page software because I can do everything I want on my website, just so you know. So you don't need, you don't need lead pages and click funnels or all that kind of stuff if you don't want it. Um, you don't need Kartra and Kajabi and Infusionsoft and all that stuff unless you want those all-in-one solutions. They're just higher price tag, right? I'd rather spend a couple thousand on a good website and then less per month on my management software 
instead of 300 a month on my software, which is going to add up to a lot more money later, right? So that's just the way I think. I think of the most affordable, um, doable option. I also want something that I can understand how to use to a certain extent in the back end. Um, even though I'm gonna delegate some of the stuff to my team, um, I wanna be able to make quick changes and send out quick emails and, and do some different things. Be, um, and I'm pretty techie. But, uh, but I still have to learn new software just like you do, right? So those are some things to think about. I go into more depth on all of this uh, and really which ones are right for who in a training that I did this year. It's, uh, it's called Deciding on Technology. It was a 90 minute call where I go in depth on this and literally it's like $27. So it's not that big a deal if you wanna go get it and get more detail. I talk about all the different email marketing software, CRMs and all the different techie tools in addition to things like um, calendar scheduling and video um, editing and, and video programs and Zoom and things like that. So because we need technology, we need to be able to embrace certain technologies depending on what kind of business you have, how you're serving your people, how you're marketing yourself and how you need to um, deliver your content, right? So there's a lot of different techie tools that's in order to do more in this little video, uh, it's a little hard. So, but you can check out that if you're interested in that program, it's jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash deciding on technology. And that's, I'll put the link in the, in the comments of this video uh, as well. And then I do have a free audio that talks specifically about your website. So it's like there's 17 things that I recommend in this audio that you want to make sure you're, you're focusing on your website. And so if you wanna evaluate what your website is like and if it's missing anything, you might wanna go get this free audio and it's on my free trainings page. If you go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings you'll see the website secrets um, audio there. And that's great. You can just sign up for that. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful, you guys. Good luck with it. I just hate to see people spending too much money on things they don't need when there's cheaper or better solutions to run your business and be more efficient. And every everybody has a different learning style and technology ability. And so sometimes I help people find the right technology based on that. Because just because your friend told you it was perfect or the great thing or your coach told you that it was a good software doesn't mean it's the right one for you. I like to offer a variety and say, these are all the different options. Let's uh, analyze which one's good for you rather than just telling you to do this one because I make money on it. <laughs> I don't do that. So uh, watch out for that. <laughs> I spend a lot of money in the wrong softwares because people have done that to me. All right. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you next week on um, when we talk about number seven.